Welcome back to part 7 of the build series. Last time we put in the camera and the camera mount and we also hooked it up with this little wire. Now we're going to be hooking up our receiver. Now over here I have one of the cables that came with the flight controller. and We're going to need this three wire um, receiver connector. I'm going to be clipping the end, pre tinning this wire and also connecting it to one of the UARTs. This one specifically is UART 3, so we're going to hook up our ground here, our voltage here, and then the signal wire here, Then hopefully it should be able to work. Now where we're going to be mounting the receiver, since I underestimated when buying all the parts how big it was going to be, can't even fit it here simply, and um, because of the style of the frame there's just really no room underneath. So I figured out the best option would be to slide it underneath here, then unscrew this top plate just a little bit, stick it underneath, and then I'm just going to hold it down with pressure from this top plate, and then I'll make a connection whatever way it'll run around, and uh, yeah, that should be able to work. Yeah, it's less convenient than I wanted to. Maybe in the future I'll find a way to downsize this or get a different receiver that will actually fit inside of this UAV. That would be very nice. But anyway, like I said, we're going to be clipping some of these wires and pre-tinning pre and soldering. Alright, so as you can see, I have the uh, receiver connector all nicely soldered up. And i got to say, my soldering on these boards is pretty good so far. Now we have the receiver to stick inside of here. I'm going to loosen off these screws and then pinch it in between. I guess in this part of the build series I might as well put on the top plate and get this connected as well as the video transmitter connected along with the camera. Um, and then at that point we're just going to have to put a few things on, check out our battery, and we are going to be awesome. One thing I completely forgot until now was that I need to secure the antennas because we can't have them flopping around. They could actually get caught in a prop pretty easily just by doing that, and it gets in the way of the view of our camera. So what we're going to be doing is putting some zip ties through the top action camera mounting plate. All right, bam, so now we have some zip ties on there. We are going to run our receiver wire, just kind of put it next to it, and then I think right at the bottom and the top we are just going to add some shrink tubing, shrink it on, and that's going to keep this from flopping around too much, and um, it also keeps it nice and neat. Alright, so I got the shrink tubing on, and I actually needed an extra zip tie right down the bottom because that antenna was kind of straying away. In case you haven't caught that yet, I really don't want that caught inside the prop, it's just going to hold it cause a whole bunch of issues. The fail safe might kick in and uh, make the quad drop from the ground which could be a bad crash but I'm going to crash this thing anyway. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, I need to buy a new receiver if that ever does happen and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to take some extra precautions by doing that. It's funny because when we put it on it's going to look like it has ears. Looks kind of cute. But um, anyway, I guess now we might as well snug this down next to the frame, bolt it down and then we're going to plug in this receiver wire. Alright, so I have it all bolted down. It looks very, very good. Now I'm just going to plug in my receiver plug into my receiver. Now the way we do this is into the, the servo port, which is to this side. We want the signal wire facing outwards, and we're just going to plug it in like so. Now when I do put the props on in the next part of the build, I just want to make sure that this isn't going to come out just a little bit and I really don't want that hit by the prop as well because obviously yeah, fail safe kicks in, it could drop from the sky, it could take off and I really don't want that to happen. So just a little zip tie to the side will probably fix that. But anyway, until then, um, we're just going to do our battery and props, just a little quick overview of that and then I will bring it out to its maiden flight. And I sure hope it works excellent. I did pay big money to build this thing and get all the other components for it. So hopefully in the end it's going to pay off and I hope I'm going to be having a blast.